Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, we're officially in session. Uh, let's go to this proof the minutes of the uh, July 2nd, 2019 regular meeting, please. So moved. Second. Mr. Wilkerson made the motion. Mr. Baker seconded that. Is that all yes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Public comments. I'm assuming they'll want to sign in, Mr. Bill. Is that correct? No, no sir. They have. Thank you. And President Lister report. We should be keep us to have anything on there this evening. So we'll we want the administrative <coughs> have a motion to look at those items. I'll move. Fred. Second. Carol seconded that. Jeff. Item A is a memorandum of understanding with Mountain State Educational Services Cooperative and Leslie Tyree Esquire to provide general legal services during the 2019-2020 school year according to the terms of the MOD. Item B, a contract with Mountain State Educational Services Cooperative to provide the services of a Medicaid specialist to Lincoln County Schools during the 2019-2020 school year according to the terms of the contract. Item C is a contract with Mountain State Educational Services Cooperative to provide the services of an audiologist to Lincoln County Schools during the 2019-2020 school year according to the terms of the contract. Item D is an out-of-state trip for Duval students to Mason, Ohio, King's Island, <coughs> on August the 16th, 2019, transported by private coach. Um, this will be the third year that the school has uh, undertaken this activity, this trip. It's a reward trip for students who uh, were either scored proficient on the West Virginia Substantive Assessment or have shown improvement over the previous year's um, test scores. Item A, a contract with Health Research Systems Incorporated for random drug testing for 2019-2020 school year according to the terms of the contract. Item F is our annual adoption of a revised policy, uh, policy 3120.12, uh, substitutes and areas of critical need and shortage. And I, I just in amazement, again, I, I know this is the second, maybe third year deal when I look at it, we have elementary education listed as an area of critical need. You know, BE jobs too, buddy. Right, so. <laughs> it is. <coughs> and that's, that's all the administrative bodies. Anybody have any questions? Um, I had one, I guess, on item E there, Bill, this drug testing, is the same that it's the same company we used last year, and it was uh, had very good service for men, and, uh, and we'll continue whoever will hopefully with that, and probably continue the contract with the individual we have that come in that may never know when he's coming, and he, uh, we'll make sure that's a smooth transition. Yes. I just wanted to clarify that that is the same company. That is the same company, okay. and that's just also the same one test for us. Okay, there's no further questions. Is that an all yes vote on the administrative items? Yes. 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 <coughs> okay. Finance, do you have a motion, please? Rowdy, make your hand. Second. Second by Larry. Item A, scheduled invoices totaling $428,196.47. Invoices are available for public review at the county office. Uh, Mr. Ellis is a trade <coughs> fair one. That's, that's why he's not here. <coughs> I guess everybody has had the opportunity in the last couple of days to look over the invoices and earn any questions on those. Is that an all yes vote on that item? Or yeah. Yes. yes. All yes on the finance. Okay. Let's go to personnel then. Motion, please. Second. Red. And Carol seconded that. Does everyone have a revised one? I'll leave a revised one up there. Uh, I'll make sure it's not. 
Okay, uh, item A, employment of short, long-term substitute professional personnel. Item B, employment of professional personnel. Item C, transfer of professional personnel. That's a realignment within the school. D, transfer of professional personnel. E, transfer of service personnel. F, leave of absence. And G, retirements or resignation. And also you, uh, gave you a sheet of what's currently posted. Uh, if you look at like at Midway, at Hamlin, at Matt Job, at Duval, uh, those are people that's in the alternative certification and everything's set up there. We're just waiting on them for them to approve it before we can hire them. So that, those are what those are. As Mr. Midkiff and I talked today, we've got three math that did math that at Duval, one at the high school, and two at Guy Valley, I believe. I looked on the state website last night. There was 31 jobs posted across the state. Masters in science. Now, the omnibus bill, is that somehow make those jobs more attractive? Well, that's the hope. Uh, you know, they'll get a, an additional three years of experience for pay purposes. Uh, starting this, this this year. So that may encourage some young folks out there to consider going to college to pick up a degree in mathematics. Time will tell. So it's not going to be uh, something you see in immediate. No. Unless they would guess what an alternative program some kind of they do. Uh, uh, we may see some, we have people with special ed degrees that went into regular ed, they may be thinking, I can go back and get right. I was thinking of somebody who might, uh, if they be eligible, if they were to go with the mathematics, if they're in some other area, do an alternative program and still qualify for that if, if they were hired, even though they weren't. We think so. We believe so. As long as they're teaching 60% six of the day in a math classroom. Math. Bill and I do have some questions about yeah, we on here got several questions. So uh, they have really answered all shit. Yeah. A lot of people probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay yeah. Anybody have anything in particular to use any questions about anything here? <coughs> See, we're having an assistant principal at Hearts High School or at Hearts uh, Middle School. Okay. Yes. Interviews were conducted yesterday, and uh, she's a recommendation of the committee as well as the principal. Nothing further then. Is that a long yes on the personnel items? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Comments and concerns? Board members, anything? Do I have anything? Do I have anything? Just one thing, just to uh, thank everybody for uh, participating in the uh, retirement activity. Where we came from. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 